honestly mate the other day I spent 100 quid on a Shopify website and after three days I've made no sales at all yeah but what were you selling yeah I've been selling phone cases of actual kittens like pictures of kittens and that why are you selling phone cases of kittens is it a trending product well yeah yeah I've, I've just uh, I just no I just thought people who like cats will just come onto your website and just find it so you're not selling trending products oh so you're saying I actually need to do product research right because many people are asking me questions like oh, how do you find trending products and obviously we already have a video on that you can watch in the link below For some reason a lot of people are like oh, yeah, but my trending product doesn't work whoa so <laughs> today we're gonna give you free ways to actually find trending products so you can find them to sell really big trending products in Q4. Now I've also done a video on the five trending products that I would recommend in Q4 which you can watch in the link below. With that being said I'm going to show you how to find trending products on Shopify right now. So let's get into it. <laughs> So oh, let's get into the methods of actually finding trending products for your Shopify store. Now we're going to go on with the first one and we're going to get in it very quickly just so we're not wasting any time and you can understand everything properly. Now we're going to be going through three different ones today like I mentioned earlier and this is the first and most simple one that anyone can do. Right so literally all you're going to do is go onto Amazon.com, the biggest online store in the world and go to Amazon's best sellers list. Now, if you're not familiar with this already, basically it's just products that you might be able to sell and get ideas for. So I'm gonna show you how I'd do it if I was gonna look through Amazon's best seller list to find a trending product. So obviously, you know, if Amazon have put this on the best sellers list or the algorithm has put this on the best sellers list, then you know people are buying this at least. So first, let's click on to computer and accessories and see what's best sellers in the computer computers and accessories section okay so you got wireless mouses here that are rather cheap as well uh, and these are not that's not really a big brand either so you know what I mean you could basically that's what an idea already so we'll take that so yeah wireless mouse wireless keyboard set not for too much but not for too much quid <laughs> too much quids <laughs> not for too many um, too much money anyway it's quite cheap and this is what people are looking for really on Amazon uh, you got a one terabyte hard drive here, which just stuck out to me. Let's see if we can find something like that. Um, USBs, these are branded, uh, and different webcams as well. So I can show you how to find some webcams. And yeah, so a couple SD cards and everything like that. So let's say we're going to try and find something from the computers and accessories section. Again, you don't have to find anything from computers and accessories computers and accessories you can just find what's right for you and what you would like to sell now I'm just using this as a complete example so let's go and find a product on Aliexpress or a product similar to the one that's best selling uh, so yep yeah, let's type in wireless mouse We want to find one similar to the price range of seven pound, which it was there. It's quite a few. It's quite a few coming up. Oh, I one. So yeah, you've seen that game. I have no idea what's happening here. I think AliExpress is bugging out. <laughs> there's that many. There's that many items on AliExpress now. It's all. It's all bugging out. Hold well on. Wireless mouse. Okay, so you can see for a second <laughs> you can see for a second the um, the list of mouses that we can we can choose from um, and then they've all just vanished sweet sound nice one <laughs> so yeah let's just say you can go to what you can basically just find the exact same product from aliexpress for a bit cheaper i've seen a couple there for like in between the 80 cent mark and three dollar mark so you can go for something similar to that and then mark it up to a decent profit margin of 200 to 300% your actual product. Um, yeah, so you wanna try and find something similar to the price range of the one that you found on the Amazon bestseller list and quality, quality wise, yeah, quality wise, <laughs> you wanna find something similar to the actual quality of the one that's on Amazon as well. 
So yeah, that's a quick one on how to do that. Let's get on to the next way of finding a trending product. Now, the second way I like to find products, and probably my favorite as well, is something that was only introduced quite recently from AliExpress, and that's AliExpress's dropshipping center. Now, this is an easy way to find products that are selling, because for one, AliExpress is one of the biggest marketplaces in the world, as alongside Amazon, not as big as Amazon, but it's up there, more, especially more common in Asia, and continents around that region, like, um, I forget, how do you say that continent? The Oce Oceanic continent. Oh, that's a Google it now. <laughs> um, uh, Oceana. Oce Oceania. There we go. There we go. <laughs> oh my god. I'm a more of a dropshipper and not the best geograph geographical person, as you can tell. Um, so, yeah. Basically, once you're on AliExpress's dropshipping center, you click on products and then click find products to sell. Now, once you're on find products to sell, you can choose from a bunch of categories that you would never usually go for on other products sort of finding services. So like, for example, if you're familiar with the previous video that we've done that my dad did on finding products, you can tell that he went through the Amazon list and also this as well, but he also went through a Facebook ad not just Facebook ads, but you went through Facebook videos to find Facebook ads, uh, just to find different uh, winning ads to find the right products that have been working for him um, and for other people. Whereas this, you can look at any specific category you want and find what's selling the most recently as well. So let's say we wanted to do computers and accessories, like again, like we did before. So consumer electronics, you click on that product category. And once that's clicked, you go, we go to the orders section here and then click orders. So the one of the highest orders is going to go up first. Now you can see that this there's this, this. <clears throat> now you can see that this this um, smartwatch thing that's quite similar to Fitbit and everything like that. So I don't know how you pronounce it. Xiaomi and Xiaomi. <laughs> Seems like uh, those sweets we have in the UK. The mum I'm starting to put a picture up on the screen. <laughs> that's what it just reminded me of. Uh, so yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure how to say it. Yeah, so smartwatches are doing quite well, as well as Bluetooth earphones, because people, they don't really want the AirPods and everything like that. They want to find something that's similar, but also Bluetooth earphones. I wouldn't go with these ones, these i7s. I've known a lot of dropshippers to sell loads of these products as very similar to AirPods and get sued for it. So I wouldn't, I'd stay away from anything similar to AirPods, like the i7s and i11s and everything like that. Don't sell it, because Shopify will either take down your store because they'll have Apple coming onto them with a, a trademark uh, infringement sort of thing. You'll have Apple coming onto them with a trademark infringement warning, and you just don't want that for your store because <laughs> you're not gonna really be Apple <laughs> in any case because we're one of the biggest companies in the world. And the fact of the matter is, this is a blatant ripoff of their product as well. It's not as good, however, it looks the exact same and has the exact same features. So I definitely stay clear of that. But Bluetooth earphones like this one, uh, there's obviously a slightly bit more. I'd recommend getting something like this and selling these. Uh, as long as it's not very similar to AirPods, I just take it at your own risk. Uh, so yeah, you can go through that and look at other products that are similar, like these Bluetooth earphones. The earphone cases are doing very well as, as well. Uh, I know that for a fact. So I'd recommend something like the silicone earphone cases for your AirPods and also for for any other uh, actual earphones you're getting as well. So yeah, we can look through here. And it's probably just one of the best ways to find products. There's loads of options for you to find them. Uh, you can find that you can look in different countries and look at where they're sh being shipped from. Uh, so let's say, obviously, if you want to ship something from the United States uh, and get faster and get faster drop shipping times, then we can do that as well. So go to United States. And then you can see that this smartwatch is doing quite well. The USB ring lights doing really well as well. We have one, and I'm pretty sure it's been marked up from a dropshipper. Uh, we got it from Amazon. However, I believe the, these people are using Amazon FBA, which is 
an alternative to drop shipping on Shopify and you can also bring in a lot of profits as well. So whichever one you want to do, I'd recommend doing something similar to this and using AliExpress's drop shipping center to find trending products. So let's get on to the third and quite effective option that we've only sort of come across recently and is quite effective. So let's go over to it. Go show love to all these YouTube creators right here, Jonathan Morrison, Random Frank, and everything like that. Go show them love. And this is quite a quick way to see what's really trending and what a lot of people are gravitating towards, especially if you look at the most recent videos as well. So let's say we're gonna go for Jonathan Morrison's video here. Uh, you could click on it. I'm not gonna click on it for in case we get any copyright infringement, uh, cause, but, I'm, but go, go check out his videos anyway. We're gonna click on it right now, see something that's trending and try and find something that's very similar on AliExpress. So you can go onto these people, Jonathan Morrison, Random Frank, and all you gotta do is type in the top 50, top 100 tech products and see which comes up the most. So another one, Danny Wingit, Paul Wingit here, um, Carl Conrad, all these people, and go and check out their own videos. Now, once you check out their videos, see the products that they're actually recommending. Look at these products, see which ones are really cool, and then go on to the best dropshipping hub, <laughs> AliExpress. And you can either search for it in the dropshipping center to see how many orders it's getting from AliExpress, which I would personally recommend, or you can go onto AliExpress, go onto the page, and then see how many orders it's got. So yeah, let's get into it. We're gonna try and find a product now. I'm gonna cut out this bit because I don't want anyone coming back to us for copyright. You know YouTube nowadays, <laughs> so let's get into it. So one of the products I'm gonna actually give away to you uh, that you can actually sell in your own store with a really good markup and really good profit margin is this right here. Let's go and scroll onto it and click on the actual page. This mobile phone tripod holder. Now the tripod is actually quite a flexible tripod. So you ever seen Casey Neistat when he, when he did the vlogs, when he did all the daily vlogs, because uh, he still does amazing vlogs right now. But he had that massive tripod, <laughs> except to his massive DSLR camera. And he walking around with his tripod on going like, yeah, so basically I'm in New York City and then going around on a little boost board or whatever he was on. Very similar layout to how that tripod is. However, this is for your phone. <laughs> you know, you said your phone flying. Might have had to buy a, a new phone then from AliExpress. <laughs> So what it is, is a flexible tripod holder. Now all you do is you put your phone in it, make sure you don't drop your phone like I do, and then place it on wherever you'd like, or walk around with it to get stability, and you can literally just attach it to pretty much anything. And you also have a little remote option that you can click onto it to actually activate the recording whenever you want, which is very, very handy. And a lot of people do love this feature. So this is what we'll be giving away to you. Like I said, I, I did put free trending product <laughs> in the title for a reason. Uh, so, yep, you, you guys have all stuck to the end. So here's a free trending product. Great markup to be done. Honestly, you could probably sell it for about $20. And you can see there it's about $160, depending on which you sell. You can sell it with the remote, the remote on its own, or just without the remote. So completely up to you what you want to sell on your store. However, you could create a whole gadget store around this create other phone accessories that you connect to it. The choice is yours. I'm just giving it you to go away and run away with. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video and that you sort of like this little free trending product to give away at the end. Obviously in this video, we've given away some quick ways to find trending products for your store. And obviously there is different ways that you can do this. There's obviously peed, peed? <laughs> oh my God. Paid options that you can use like Ecom key and other websites like that. But I just thought I'd show you three ways to actually find any trending products because a lot of people are like, oh, I don't want to pay, I don't want to do this. Ecom Key's got a great algorithm though, so I'd personally recommend that. No affiliate program any, or anything like that, just I'd personally recommend it because we've used that before as well. However, AliExpress Dropshipping Center, we look for it properly, trust us good results to be honest. So yeah, just go to the videos for ideas, like I said, an option free, and then go see how they're doing on the Dropshipping Center. 
With that being said though, I'd like to thank you all for watching this video. Please leave a like if you've enjoyed and comment below what more you'd like to learn about Shopify and making money online. And we'll do our best to answer it with different videos and by replying to you all in the comments. So yep, thank you for watching, subscribe for more content and I'll see you later.